And that's how you know that the system's gotten really, really fucked up, though. Yeah. When, you, when a young man is talking about, you know what? If I break my leg, I'm gonna fix it myself. Yeah. Because going to the doctor is too expensive it's and helps me insurance. another leg. What is that? Exactly. You go to the doctor, you broke your leg, they take another arm and a leg. Yeah. And you're just left with stumpy, you know? You just got one torso flopping around. And then I gotta your torso work to, to get the shit back, you know? And That's yeah, exactly limping, right. Limping you're limping like a slave to, to your own bad health at that point, you know? Like shit, you know that's that's a screwed up system right there. But how in the hell do we move forward? How you know what's the right way to go with healthcare? What do you want to talk about? Immigration or healthcare? You know all these problems fit together. You know, I mean, well, how much? What what kind of healthcare is right for people who just got here? Exactly. You're talking about five hundred dollars a week. That's too much. You know, what's what's not enough? You know, what's you know where's the you know. Yeah, they're not gonna I think we, I, you know, a month out of is there a it's country, happen. though, with our population that has it's it figured over out? over 500. That's just a rough exactly. estimate. No, there's not. I mean, no, there's not. I so mean, in, in reality, is there an answer where everybody's happy? No. There's no answer where no, everybody's yeah, happy. So. I think maybe we need to just knock off the nanny state and, and, and you know, let the chips fall where they may and, and let the fucking, you know... That's why Strong yeah, survive, you know what I mean? I mean, shit, god no, damn. Real, That's just how life is. It's, you know, I mean, I oh think about god. this, I He's think about this all the time. <laughs> I think, no, I'm not. This is no, the I'm intro, not. intro to his next uh, video. This is, <laughs> this is the entirety of the next I mean, video. You talk about intro like there's oh, going to be okay, any editing at all. God bless you, Daniel. Are, are you Daniel, you're not in a position where you can get canceled. You're, yeah, a, you're an canceled, actual yeah. working man. You know how to do actual things. All right, the people who get canceled are people who have built their lives on, their on social bricks. Exactly. They've built their lives out of there. If they're living in a straw house of, of, of social uh, resources, you know, social revenue. What's good, Sam? Shout out, Sam. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is up, bro? We're talking about immigration, health care. Sam, what's your stance on immigration? Sam, right? what is your stance on immigration? You're on video. Should we uh, cut off everybody coming in right now? That's that's the question. No, no, absolutely not, bro. That's what America... That's, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to let them in? Are you going to feed them and so, house them? So you, <laughs> want every, you want open borders. That's what you want, Sam. I, that's what I just heard. You want open borders, huh? My God, the border crisis. That it makes sense. Like, that's actually what it's like. Like, you can't have a... Dude, I know. Nut jobs. No, there's you can't have a nuanced opinion job. in this day and age. You cannot. And, and, you just, and you just have to work with them, bro. You just have to be like, oh, well, man, you, you understand how it is. You be like, ah, and and that's mean, why we so lie. We say, yes, we'll do what you want, and we don't do it. That's damn no, right. That's not true. That's not true. That's how do you what, think Trump like, and Biden got elected, buddy? Yeah. We lie and deceive. Like damn and right. Law. You know like Merle Haggard said, the day a president walks through the White House door and does what he says he'll do, we'll all be drinking that free bubble up and eating that rainbow stew. Okay? Yeah. There's no free bubble up. There's no rainbow stew. You ever seen a rainbow go into a stew? No, you've not. You ever seen a president do exactly what he said he's going to do? No, and you're not going to either, okay? Because the president, that's where their job is to convince you that they're going to get every single fucking thing done and fix every one of your single goddamn problems, and that's just not possible. It's not even, some of them are scumbags straight up through and through, <laughs> but it's just not possible. What a politician promises when he's about to go into the White House. It's just not humanly possible. They're not a wizard. They're not, they don't have a wand of policy. And some people try and do a bunch of monkey-ass executive actions and fuck the whole country up, and the next guy's going to come in and fucking undo all of those and put his own damn executive actions in. You know, we talk about we need to increase executive power. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's a big fucking joke the way it is right now. It's a big goddamn joke. Sam, what do you think? Honestly, <laughs> I think that you and Dave need to switch positions. <laughs> Shut up! What do you think? You should be screaming on the internet? You want me to be running around in a suit? You know? Come on. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> 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 no, oh, Jesus. Like, uh, he needs to be in... He needs to have his own independent party. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been talking about a damn bull moose party for a long time. Some kind of newfangled bull moose party. He's Sam knows. Sam knows what he's talking. <laughs> oh my god. 
I mean, you know, we're we're really screwed. If we put Dave in a suit, put him in a pod on a podium, I think. I look damn good in a suit. All right, clean up well. All right, all right. Yeah, maybe she. But was, uh, you know. I got I'm gonna have to get rid of the sideburns at some point. Okay. Well, this one doesn't pay at all. Majority seems. Look, the, the majority. What is your take? <laughs> she likes the sideburns. She. That's why I keep. Every time I go to shave or, to, or take a shower, I go. Should I? What do you think? Get rid of the sign. She's like, I know, I like, I like the sideburns, and I'm like, all right. Then, then they stay. Then they stay. You're the only person yeah, okay. who yeah, really matters matter. how my face looks like. You know, I mean, <laughs> Jesus. You know. He likes it. He just said he likes it. Uh, uh, I think it suits your personality. Thank you. He, he well, just, he just needs to work on his cadence. Once, well, you know, my, my cadence is never going to be that of a, not that of a man screaming at the sky. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be preacher meets homeless guy on a soapbox, okay? It's, that's, that's my cadence. That's, because we got some real problems going on. And, you know, I, I want to talk about, the, you know, we've got real problems and we are real damn divided but the fucked up thing is that a majority of us really agree on on the shit that really goddamn matters and it's all a bunch of you know we're oh okay i think he's talking to us what are you got some kind of you got somebody in the i'm sorry i'm sorry you got what are you got somebody in your ear right now you're shoving waffle fries down and talking politics while you're on the phone this is some 21st century multitasking all right, makes sense. That you makes don't sense. get the chance to eat. Except for your fancy dinners. Yeah, except your fancy dinners. Except me. <laughs> I know Glenn is definitely eating your own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're going to lose weight on this job, Sam. I don't think you're going to be starving, man. Yeah. He eats a lot, though. I hung out with him the other day. We, he ate maybe four or five times. Are you serious? How long did you hang out with him? Dude, I don't know where For the day. <laughs> I remember I was in the toilet. And he loves Seven what Corners. The... Take him to Seven Corners. He loves that place. He got Tropical Smoothie, Chick-fil-A, Cafe Rio. I remember He's I was... always uh, eating one of the three. I was hiking with this motherfucker Haroon one time, and he said he, he takes five shits every day. And I'm like, that's, that's not unhealthy. real. If that's I did not that, real. I would be... That's like unhealthy. Quick. I I feel Do you like you drink a lot of water. That might be what it is. Maybe I don't know. I I, 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 I you're not supposed to. I, do that. I, that's what I said. I said that's that's not like the he's, game plan. Did that's, you did you make him elaborate on how they came out? Sure. Good, hard, nice, <laughs> or you know, no. I think if he had fucking Crohn's disease, he would have been like, yeah, I have Crohn's disease. I have IBS, bro. I have really bad intestinal problems. I think he would have... Yeah, and it's all diarrhea. It's all liquid. I'm just... I'm just pissing out of my ass five times a day. What did you ask what cereal he eats in the morning? What cereal he eats in the morning? No, I was just like... Five, five times every Are you day. Sure you not cause, yeah, right. I'm like not three or four. That's that's still a little much in my opinion. But five times. If you tell me like ten times, I'm like you need to see a doctor. You absolutely, without a question in my mind, need to see a doctor. If it's ten times, I mean, there's only so many hours in the day. You're, I mean, you come on. You got your shitting ten times a day. It's like every hour on the hour. The old man shits that take an hour. At least ten minutes. Right? Right? What did you, what'd you say? I said you take the old man shits that last an hour. So if you're taking ten, He's that's ten hours. I He's right. He's right about that. He's right about that. You know, nowadays we're quick. We but no, Dave is still in the 80s. Where he's gonna it's take true. I'm just, I love pull out a book on I there. know the 80s is like the new 50s. There's I swear to God it is. There's several magazines in that bathroom. There's <laughs> several 80s magazines. It's all men's health. Like, yeah. like, I, I, I don't know who's an 80s guy. Yeah. Jugs, I guess. Old Playboys. What? Yo, call us back when you're driving. That's that's the rule of the road. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. Glenn would be so proud of you. Glenn would be proud. Breaking a law. Virginia, literally, oh that just my got God. passed. Did that just Sam? get passed? You're not allowed to be on your phone while you drive. You get pulled over for it. Oh yeah, I heard you're not okay. I heard yeah, you're, you're I heard that that you're I you're not it. even yes. allowed to have that shit on speakerphone, mm -hmm. and you're not allowed to have like a YouTube video playing, or you're not allowed to have that shit on. You're not allowed to have it, that what if shit. You're using the maps, right? And you have it. Holster. That's also so. Yeah, I'm, there's so many things I want. I'm like, what about the maps? What about music? Yeah. 
What about, you know, because fiddling with your damn radio takes attention away from you. Fucking with your AC, exactly. That shit's not illegal, exactly, you know, like. But but changing your AC, like, if you know your car, you can do it without looking, I feel like. I can, yeah. I feel like a lot you of people don't know their car that well. Well. I don't hmm. know. Like, I don't know. That's just my take. I mean, like... Dave, what's your take? No, so yeah, absolutely. Right. No, you're absolutely right, though. I feel like if you know your car well enough, You then... can feel the dash. And, like, it's usually yeah, like a knob it, it or a button. It becomes muscle memory. Like it becomes like muscle like memory like in I'm a way that your screen can never be... No, I mean, I, m- most people would look, but I'm saying theoretically, like in the dark... Well... Because your screen, you're going to select a song. You know what I'm saying? You always You're, have to check your phone because you could be pushing the wrong button. Exactly, you could be pushing the wrong button, and that would make you spend more time. But with something like the radio or AC, and you drive that car for like a year probably even, like regularly, probably even like three months, and that should be shit becomes muscle memory. You're just like, I don't even need to, I think the, you know, I'm just doing it automatically. Well, people... Like yeah, exactly. People oh, this is the song too I like. Far, yeah. So they just yeah. say ban it. Well, people want the phone to be part of their lives twenty four seven. You know, like people never want to put the shit down. What is it called? It's uh, there's a word for this in business where your possessions are part of you. There's a word for it. I can't. I can't oh man, what do you, is it like? So like a positive term use that you you want to get your consumers to feel this way about your product? No, no, it's just something that like integration. Are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. It was just some like quiz, bro. I don't know. Integration into your life? I fuck. Uh, dependence. Um, no, no, no. Addiction. <laughs> um, a lot more technical term. Uh, yeah, uh, cosine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I don't even fuck. That technical, no. that's what it's How technical is this? How technical is it? You're probably fucking un- incognito mood. You've been doing something untoward. I know it. <laughs> you just keep your shit in incognito mode. Online? Yeah, because I saw the bubble. I go, you bubble? you were privately browsing and and I uh, always do it on private. I just go. I know I know some people who. I don't like who, how it saves my history. Exactly, I know some people who just uh, incognito it's like everything, even when they're doing something like complete. And I'm just like, get a VPN, bro. Yeah. Honestly. And then I know you should use both. You should use both. I mean, yeah, honestly. Honestly, yes, you should use both. It's just for like it's basically. Just can I, I do would, it so I don't would, uh, have, like, if I click on Chris, would you hit the light switch like, really quick? Mm-hmm. Would you just hit the light have, switch? Daniel, here, will you, will you, will you just keep me? We all know this is about porn You can be in the shot. We all know this is about his porn addiction, his X videos addiction. Oh no. Is he making them or? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. No, his, his incognito search. Oh yeah, yeah. Chris been, but oh yeah. And then I know people. It's who, your extended uh, self. I think that's what. Like my old buddy, my old buddy Rowan. That, he used like, to uh, talk about how he absolutely he fucking loves the the digital age and and how much computers know about us. And he loves the like getting personalized ads and and having you know having this little device of his know everything about him and build this profile of him as a person. So so China's he can get the right? most. Personalized experience out of it. No, I did. I did not get See, into the. China or Russia is building an AI that's gathering all that data. To li- I don't know. I, I, did y'all hear that? It was that's on terrifying. A, I mean, you know, when you say that, I, I would be shocked to find out that that was not the case. I would really be it's genuinely 100% the shocked case. to find out that that is not absolutely actually what's happening. That they're building an actual AI. Who's calling? That's nobody. Hello. That's a nobody. You're taking a phone call in the middle of the video, letting, letting the shot get all fucked up. Oh my god, what kind of cameraman are you, Daniel? I'm gonna need to switch um, cameras. Probably not the camera. Yes, the whole yes, okay. This is the most this uncoordinated is... video ever. I'm that's the, the kind of that's the kind of videos I, I, I put will together. film Dave okay. doing illegal substances. No, they're not illegal. This is this is Washington DC. Oh, okay. Never mind. About, Sorry, YouTube. Anyway, Don't right. demonetize Dave. I am twenty one years old. Don't demonetize this is Washington Dave. DC. I am a legal man doing legal things, okay? This is not Daniel. State your name and age, please. He is 21 years old. I mean, <laughs> I think the man can speak for himself. Oh, oh my God. Chris, when did you turn 21? That was back in December. February. Right? February. Oh shit. You okay. should name your podcast High Talks or something like that. 
Man, get high, oh just God. smoke weed, and just banter about I've shit. I've had, you know, I've had so many ideas for names, and like that shit will fuck you up. So, you know, nothing will stop you from getting started on something, like getting too focused on branding. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck me. That's like a big mistake you can make in basically every single goddamn pursuit that there is. Is going like, I need to have the perfect name and logo and you know everything like this like half of the motherfucking greatest rappers out there just like used their nickname that were that people called them like sometimes and they just fucking started rapping you know what i mean people will like sit around and be like i can't start rapping unless i have a good rap name you know what i mean yeah we and should like, call you dp Deep, bro, people used, to, people used to call me that shit in elementary school, and then I we got a little bit older, and I was like, stop calling me that. Hey, hey stop calling me that. I'm with a little DP. <laughs> oh, my that God. That didn't even sound right coming out. DP talks. It does, no, it didn't sound right at all, Daniel. Sound like you want to be in on that DP. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god. You know how fucking porn male porn stars get paid more for doing gay shit than they do for getting for doing, you know, just getting a blowjob or some shit, uh -huh. you know? Do you get paid more for doing some double penetration scene? <laughs> if you're like, hey, you know I I really don't want to do I would this. Say the girl probably you know this is does. not how yeah. I want to get The girl down. probably does. I the girl, say. I mean, she's always getting more than everybody, you know? I mean, that's that's just that's one of those uh instances where the where, where the pay gap is real, it, it's, a, it's a real thing that it actually exists. You don't have to find it through statistics. You go, oh, wow, she's getting paid this much, and he's getting paid this much. Literally, like, a tenth of the amount. I don't think there's... It, it makes complete fucking sense, though. I mean, it's just... You think about how much more risk it is to, like, put yourself on film sucking dick than it is to mm -hmm. put, your, put your dick on film getting sucked. You don't... You can shoot a blowjob scene as a guy and the whole world will never know who you are. You know, you right. need to suck a dick with your face. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. You can't. Okay, so. There's no anonymous blowjob scene. <laughs> what is the topic the of this video going to be? Oh, blowjobs and politics? What? That's damn right. Blowjobs and politics sounds like a great title for this video. Alright, so we should talk about See? Bill Clinton. So that's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god. How do we think Monica's doing, Dave? Oh, you know, Monica's a dirty bitch. I mean, <laughs> Monica. <laughs> she's been a dirty bitch since the jump, man. I mean, God. Like, she knew what she was doing. It's not like she was some 17, 18. She was 25 fucking years old. A girl, a gra college grad. She, you know, if you look into the fucking situation, she's bending over. She literally told her friend, I'm going to make this guy fuck me. I'm going to do everything in my power <laughs> to get this president's dick in my mouth. I'm gonna yeah, try my damn hardest. And then she did it. It was a success because Clinton's a dog. He's a <laughs> dirty damn dog. And, and then she made a career out of it. She said, hey, I've sucked the president's dick. I think I can make a lot of money off Let of me this. write a and book. And she did. She Honestly. wrote a book. She went on book tours and went on late night shows talking about ba 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 ba. Went on Springer or some shit. You know, she's getting <laughs> bags from all these fucking people. Leno. Not working her boring fucking office job. Yeah, going on Leno. Oh. <laughs> and I'm proud. I'm happy. Uh, would you I'm be happy proud happy if you were her father, man? Would that hell hell no. Damn you right, make that hell money. No. This is damn why right, I'm not no. having a daughter. <laughs> I'm, I'm having like five kids. You're gonna go Chinese with it? And just, if, if one comes out, a uh, girl, you just leave it on the side of a cliff somewhere? You just girl. leave it on a damn mountainside? You ever seen The Dictator? Yes. Oh, it's a girl. Where's the trash can? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, next segue. Rudy, Juli <laughs> Rudy Giuliani and Borat's daughter. What do we think? Hey, I'm just kidding. That was, was that joke? Giuliani? That was, that was a joke? Yes. Oh, you I said Borat's daughter, Giuliani. right? That was Giuliani. You say Borat's daughter, and I'm like, oh, I start thinking like Borat's a real guy, and who the fuck his daughter is. Uh, it's the Bulgarian girl. You know, damn. I it, was was it was a setup. It was a big hit job, <laughs> man. Was. I mean, the idea that it wasn't a hit job, it's a, it's a hit job out in the open. It's a big comedy hit job, and it's just so, you know, and the idea that it's it's not a honeypot hit job is just completely fucking nonsensical. 
But, you know, I don't even think that he was trying to fucking pull his dick out or do anything weird. I really don't. I think he... I, 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 I've worn a suit before... And I, I understand the, you know, the explanation I don't of, know if I understand. of, you know, and I, I think I'm also a male. Man. I'm a male who understands other things as well. And <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? You, you understand that you got to lay think, down and think, pull it out? Is that what you're saying? I, yeah, I think <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I mean, you know, well, he's a guy in a position of power. I don't know. I really don't know either, man. I don't. I really don't know either. And here's the thing: Giuliani's a fucking crackpot. He used to be a good fucking mayor. He did. He cleaned up uh, uh, New York, and you know, stop and frisk had a lot of issues, but it cleaned up the fucking city. And you know, it, it was doing better under him than it's doing now. And he got us through 9/11 in in, in New York. You know, he was a good fucking mayor back then. He, there's a reason he was America's mayor. But some people just get old and they fucking lose it. And, you know, and I hate saying that because I know I'm going to get old one day and we're all going to get old. And oh we're, none of us are going to be... God. Oh, my God. I'm going to get old. No, I'm just thinking of you with your viewpoints as like an old man, like an old crazy... You'd be that Bigfoot guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going <laughs> to be, be that. The you see? Guy. No, this is, this is what makes me crazier is I see the kind of box I'm going to be put in in, in, the, you know, in just a few years. I'm going to be an old man. I mean, seriously. A few years, but, baby. You're 21. That's, I'm, too, I'm 22, first of all. Well, you, you, know. you claimed that for the show you were 21 earlier. Oh, shit. I didn't say I anything I at the time. I'm above 21, but. all right, okay. But, uh, you know, uh, what the fuck are we talking about? What are, what are, what are we talking about? You being crazy in a Okay, yeah, yeah, but when I say I'm going to be old in a few years, I mean, you know, the culture right now is being run by like 16 year olds, you know? Uh, you know, I mean, and it just keeps getting pushed lower and lower. <laughs> it's the, hilarious. It's fucking true. It's true. It's true. It's funny because it's true thing. I mean, the clay just keeps getting pushed lower and lower. Soon the country is going to be run. The culture is going to be run by 12 year olds. And it's, you know, I mean, as uh, I, <laughs> that will be when the bamboo is president. And that will be when the bamboo is president. I love that. I mean, exactly. It's going to be a clever, smooth yeah, talking baboon. Yeah, that right. baboon is going to make you believe that he cares about you and your family. Oh. That baboon is going to make you trust him. He is going to yeah. make you think, wow, he really knows the problems that I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. That baboon has my vote. He's going to go in there, do a bunch of monkey shit, okay? He's going to hand out bananas. <laughs> He's going to go... be like, I don't eat bananas. I give them away. <laughs> That's exactly it. We'd have a lot, you know... We're going to have a lot worse problems with our bad president than Planet of the Apes. Again. All right? No, I think apes realistically... Being I think more, re more realistically, we're going to be heading towards Planet of the Hogs with some kind of goddamn, you know, genetically engineered yeah. pigs running around, you yeah, know, angry I at the Chinese for harvesting their organs for decades, you know? We're going to have these chimera man-bear pig is going to come to have life. We're going to have centaurs. Centaur human horse breeds. China does? I think we do. We absolutely do not. China has definitely done that, though. That goes against China does, all yeah. fucking that, that rules. That is, like, ethical regulations. That is flat-out fucking illegal in America. If we find out you're doing that shit, we will shut you down completely. Federally, we will shut you fucking down. Scientists create early embryos that are part human, part monkey. Part monkey. Which, hum, which scientists... <laughs> Which scientists, Dan? It just says scientists. Scientists are all over you the world. You should have seen the outcome. It and Russia, looked like Dan. German scientists. I mean, God, do you know what the what the Nazis did? They took they tried to they took identical twins, tried to take the eyes out of one and put them in the back of the other's head. They tried to sew multiple arms onto somebody's <laughs> body. Stalin straight up tried to make uh, <laughs> yeah, chip people. Crazy. What are you? What, what as green? fighters? Yeah, you man, Z, what are you looking at? Oh, damn it! Everybody yeah. shut up. Everybody shut up. Daniel just looked up human monkey hybrid. And it's and, this guy. And the and human Z came up on it on his fucking shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's, okay, it's a hypothetical yeah, that, that, hybrid. That, that's a Wikipedia post. Of chimpanzee and human. That's like no, serious no, attempts to create such a Daniel. hybrid have been made. The portmanteau Take this word. Big camera. Okay, okay. Now where is this from? Created by. This is by nature. <laughs> I'm going to accept cookies, I'm sorry. I'm accepting cookies from nature. The chimeras lived up to 19 days. Okay, which, who did this? Credit, Wei Zhi Zhi, Kunming 
University of Science and Technology. I wonder who that could have been. I wonder who that could have been. <laughs> Thank you. The Chinese are doing horrible shit. Jesus Christ. I mean, God. I mean, like, really demonic shit. Really shit that's just like, what? You're taking a pump person and a monkey and you're putting them in a blender? Why? You know, that, that type of shit where you're just like, you know, I, I get the, you're taking a, a, a pig and putting human organs and you're trying to grow human organs out of a pig to, to do organ transplants. That okay, makes sense. sure. That sounds good. That makes a little bit of sense. It seems very hinky to me. It seems very heinous and wacky. Lives. But I think it saves lives. I understand why you guys are doing it. We're not doing it. We're not crossing that threshold. We are not opening that Pandora's box. We've accepted that life and death, it's, it's part, you know, aging and death, that's part of life. Uh, you know, and organs going bad, that's part of life. We're not going to start growing human hearts and pigs to try to fucking save people. But what they're doing now of these chimeras, I mean, these pigs, they, those are already chimeras, but, you know, these... These chimeras that just seem to be like, it just seems to me like just like they're playing, you know? They're, they're playing with things that should not be fucking played with. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, you know, these things live 19 days. And, and that's vastly longer than this shit, you know, was able to live uh, when we started playing around with it, you know? Uh, what happens when, this, when, when one of these things is able to be fucking carried to term? And we, we are able to birth this Jesus new Christ. fucking horrific monkey human baby. Now, this is kind of you fucked know? up. They're like, they're doing this because it could provide better models in which to test drugs and be used to grow human organs. Oh my god, that it's is horrific. Really fucked, right? That's horrific. It's really bad. It's really horrific. I mean, it's, it's honestly... That is the craziest shit I've ever heard. That's like a real school thing. Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> Louise. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, no, like, that's what I'm trying to describe. And doing it with pigs, cows, that's what I'm saying. And rats, yep. and mice. Yep. People, people, pig, people, yep. human. Yeah. Yes, that's what I've been talking about this whole time, is people pigs. I've been talking about people pigs this whole time. And and this they're is what I'm talking about. They're injecting into their embryos. Yep, exactly. And they're injecting, exactly, exactly. To, to, well, this exactly. was five days ago. They're taking human stem cells and injecting them into pig embryos, into chimpanzee embryos. It's, See, it's, this is how these viruses happen when you run experiments like this. I mean, well, these crazy viruses shit happen will by end a up bunch of motherfuckers eating. Came from? Well, well, that and, but I mean, something, from from something much worse could That's come from true. this testing. No, thing. you're right, though. You're 100% right. You know, I mean, the virus came from a fucking lab. Can we, can we talk about that? That the virus came from a fucking lab. Yeah, I've been it did not come from people eating bats on top of pangolins and, you, and, you, and the pangolin sneezed on the bat and the pangolin <laughs> jizzed on the bat and the bat this up? coughed on the this pangolin. Up. Yes, like Randy Mars came along, fuck the bat, fuck the pangolin. Exactly, you yeah. know? Uh, that's not what fucking happened. I mean, God. We were, we were just the shadow game. You know, it, it was... It was <laughs> It escaped from a fucking lab because they're playing with shit that they shouldn't be playing with, you know? And, and it's, it's a mixture of, of doing shit they shouldn't be and communist incompetence, you know, in, in, in commipotence, okay? Uh, they're not even good at doing the bad shit that they shouldn't be doing, okay? It's like dumb criminals. Yeah. It's like a stupid burglar who walks... Burglar? Wa oh, a burglar, <laughs> burglar. Yeah, no, I've been saying this for months, though. Burglar. Uh, not burglar. Um, burglar. The lab. Ham the lab <laughs> I'm like, is it not ham burglar? No. <laughs> it's a ham burglar. Okay. Yes. <laughs> burglar. That's that's a weird one. I don't, I don't like that word. Uh, it's a burgle. It's a burgle. Yeah. Um, but it's a burglary. Yeah. It's a. It's not a burglary. You're stumped. You're speechless. You yeah, don't have don't a single have a thing to, to say that. to that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but you know, this is what I'm talking about. If we did this shit in America, we would be fu like you would be shut down so now, fucking quickly. Now, didn't they say that? All right. So if it was made in a lab, weren't we sending scientists over there? I read something about that too. Elaborate. Have you heard about? I, I don't know too much on it. I just know that the U.S. Sent scientists over. It was a big thing. Like they sent scientists over there to look for new strains of COVID or some something like that. 
before well, this shit broke out. Well, that's very likely because a lot of uh, uh, SARS COVID strains uh, come from uh, the the Middle East and Asia. A lot of them do. Um, they're what? Wet markets? They're well, they're well, they're zoonotic. Uh, most of the times, they're zoonotic diseases, which means you know they're transferred from a animal to a person. Most diseases that people and animal have, they're they're. They're specialized to them, you know? Like, I have a cold, I can't give my fucking cold to my cat. It just doesn't fucking fly in his body, you know? But then there are some diseases that are zoonotic and that can make that jump. And they go, hey, I'd like to live in a camel, but, you know, I could open up a little fucking condo in a person. Totally. I could totally fucking get that done. Camel, people, they both have lungs. I like to reproduce in lungs, you know what I mean? It's a disease like that, you know, takes advantage uh, and and you can see big time spread and, and in more developing nations there is a, there's a more interaction between people and animals just on a regular basis all the time uh, and and the animals are more just like out in the space you know and think about how I'm in America we don't have you walk in New York you don't see any fucking animals you don't see it's all people everything is you know any kind of dirty gross shit is people gross shit, you know what I mean? You might maybe a couple of horse cops and shit, but there's not, you know, way rats. back in the, what yeah, you say? Yeah, rats, pigeons. Rats. rats, pigeons, yeah, that's true, and they are vectors of disease. They're major vectors of disease, same with cockroaches, you know? Uh, which are, you well, know, apparently pigeons are all on spies. I <laughs> man. You saw that scene Cats that. are aliens. <laughs> Shut the that. fuck up. Oh shit, am I am I going low power over here? Oh no. I can't be going low power. Hold on. Boop. Okay, hold on. Is there any way to plug this shit in? Some of this will have in. to be edited out. You're plugged in. None of this is gonna be edited I out. Think it's the, all going I think in. the uh, Chinese um None of it's getting edited well, out. Hold on. Because I don't feel like spending a be, single moment on I will editing. edit it. If you want to edit it, that's fine. Well, I'll try. But I, I think yeah. the Chinese impersonation I might be today, borderline though. offensive to many. The the what? The Chinese impersonation you did. I didn't do a Chinese impersonation. Yeah, what? He kind of did. When you said, let's do the bat and the human, you were using a Chinese... Uh, I was not. No. no, I'm telling you right now. I was not doing yeah, any kind of accent. I didn't hear that. Okay, I was no, going, the Chinese said. and the bat and the bat and the Chinese. I was yelling. I was not a... I, did, I, I would do an Asian impersonation. I shouldn't say an Asian impersonation. I would do a racist Chinese caricature right now, and and but for the purpose of a joke... And uh, and no, I don't no, think no, that that's too ter 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 terribly racist. It's but uh, but joke. but I'm telling you, I, I exactly especially if I acknowledge that it's racist and insensitive, you know. I mean, but that's I didn't do that, you know. And I'm I didn't do that. So that that was just purely me talking about. Bad. I don't know. Just when you were saying the eyes. Well, you thought squinted. it was. You thought, we'll rewatch the video. Okay? I don't I'm know. Squinty. We'll rewatch the video. Now who's the racer? He's saying that the, the 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 yellow man has squinty eyes. I heard him say that. I heard him. That's, that's, that's quote unquote. That's that that's 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 so like, he's still alive, you know. <laughs> you know, usually people who get canceled you never hear from them again. Man, well, you know, know. <laughs> where is he? <laughs> really? Wait, who? The last he's time you heard something? He's in jail. That's what who? I heard from him. Yeah. Who? R. Kelly. Oh, that motherfucker didn't get canceled. That was a whole <laughs> court proceeding. Yeah, he got prosecuted, man. <laughs> and he canceled. Didn't get canceled. No, he didn't get canceled. He did get canceled a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's true. It that was, a there was a campaign. I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see if people are not listening to R. Kelly anymore. We'll see that, first of all. You know, I mean, motherfuckers are never going to stop listening to R. Kelly. Well, motherfuckers are never going to stop listening to, just... to Michael Jackson. You know, like, I don't not like Michael Jackson music now. I still love Michael Jackson music as much as I ever fucking did. And I, I didn't see the fucking documentary because I'm like, it's not going to change really anything. Good. The man's dead. His music was great. Both of those things are absolute truths that we know 100% to be true. And honestly, okay? I don't care for a lot of these artists, like, their social Their personal lives. Like, I don't care. You know? Exactly. I don't James Charles just got permanently, exactly. not permanently, but, like, you know? completely demonetized by YouTube. 
Jim Charles? Yeah. Well, every He's person has their demons. Let's just say. Underage Sexton. God damn. How old is he? He's older than us, right? He's a little older than us. I knew he was a sick fuck. He's probably our age. He's definitely a sick fuck. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Maybe, I don't know. Someone should be my genius. Look at him dead in his face. You know, I mean. Something's wrong with that man. Uh, Nobody wants to say it but me. And this is Jay and Charles, right? Didn't Jeffree Star, Star have some sort of thing come out about it? Wasn't there some kind him of... He just broke man? his back yeah, in multiple places. He detached... Oh, he like, broke his back. Oh, like, no, I the Jeffree Star... Poor, like, poor the bastard. The Jeffree Star and, um... Who's the guy? The, Shane Dawson had something come out. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't think Jeffree Star had any, like, underage weird stuff like that. I think okay. it's just like, oh, he's a racist, oh, he's a terrible person, he's a big, fat cunt. Um, and okay. Shane Dawson, I think, like, jizzed on his cat or something. Oh, yeah, or he joked Jeez, about he it. He joked right. about it, and it was real weird, and he did just I like, watched the clip, and it didn't seem things. like he was, like, joking. He was, From like, he heard. was, like, speaking humorously, but, like, it's the kind of, you know, it's like, if I tell a funny story about me shitting my pants... It's a funny story, but, still but I pants. still shit my pants, exactly, like, what and then I try to go back and go, hey, no, that was a joke, uh, no, it wasn't, that was a funny story that you were telling, if it was a joke, it would have sounded differently, you would have told it differently, you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have said, so this one time when I shit my pants, you know what I mean, you wouldn't have started off like You this. also would have clarified that that's not actually what happened. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You don't just do that and then... Put it on the internet and it's like, yeah, it's, it's not like oh, I got scared. Don't get it, I shit don't myself. Get it. You know, you know it's, they, 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 no way they'll think I actually yeah. just on my cat. You know? Exactly. I no, didn't it was say like, anything, he was like in like a podcast format talking about like something that worse. happened one time. That's even and it was worse. like, yeah, and my cat just like jumped up and I. I jizzed on my cat, and you know, it, it was something like that. It was like I was uh, so at it was the a moment story of, time type of it, it was a story time type of thing. Yeah, exactly, something like that. You know, he fucking yeah. jizzed on his cat. Right? It, oh, yeah. That man, anybody trying cat. to say he didn't jizz on his cat? Go to jail. They probably <laughs> jizzed on his cat. I watched on the H three podcast that apparently Shane Dawson's husband's like cousin or something was like, no, that's absolutely true. Absolutely true. And wow. Luke, he told us about it independently. Of, like, uh, I'm gonna be a real. Lot of this. Like. And that it's was never not verified. That still. Big of a, if the cat jumped in the way, he had it coming. Literally. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, everybody. This shit's going uh, on YouTube? Yeah. God, I'm fucked. If you just said the cat had it coming <coughs> for getting in the way of a man's <coughs> chase. I mean, he was. <coughs> Come on! If the cat just. Ah! Fair, fair enough. My dog knows to leave. How much of like, a moment did he jump look. in front of him? Like, if, if, it's if like good, right? Like, right? Did he give him a moment's like, notice? Unless you're like, <laughs> in, like at, coming at that moment, like you can turn away or Maybe something. Maybe the cat was trying to gun range, right? Like, and I'm loading my gun. Or your cat, yeah. or, like, and I see somebody loading their gun. And then he aims to shoot. And I'm like, oh, let me walk in front of it. And I get shot. Is that my fault or is that his fault? It's my fucking fault. I mean, fault. does a cat know what, like... That's on the cat. That... <laughs> it's like the girl who got pissed on by R. Kelly. If she didn't want it, you should get out of the way. No, nah, no. Nah, That's what nah. Daniel said. That's not what That's I'm what saying. That's what he's saying. That's no, not that what I'm serious. fucking saying. All right, first of all, I made it that situation... That's better than he can. No, okay. no, because you shouldn't be pissing on a girl. <coughs> you... But you should be coming up... Oh, okay. <coughs> no, what? Come <laughs> on, you shouldn't be pissing on a girl. <coughs> I'm not going to say you shouldn't be beating your meat. So you should be coming on a girl pissing on a cat. That's the right order of the world? Y'all hear this? Y'all hear is this? That, you trying to twist my shit. No, that's what you said. I don't condone I, that's what he coming said. on little girls or peeing on little girls. Only coming and peeing on cats. That's what That's what he said. That's... Me and me, okay, so if it walks in the line of fire <coughs> while you're, you know, cocked in the air, you know, one in the head, and you're aimed... And you're about to pull the trigger, and somebody just you know, walks in front of the bullet. <coughs> Whose fault is it? And they Man. see all this. They see all this going down. That reminds me of that lady cop who shot that motherfucker when she thought she was tasing him. Uh, that when you keep talking about people walking in front of the thing, you do. I, I gotta talk about that. I, we might need That's to just take ridiculous. a second thought about ladies being cops. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I agree. <laughs> We got one female traitor to her, her race. Uh, I'm gonna step out of frame for this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my God! <laughs> <laughs> yes, get him, get him. 
All right, I guess I, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I but I mean, you know. You're right there. I can follow you. Yeah. <laughs> I heard this motherfucker say something that I was just like, God damn, that's 100% true. And I've never thought about it in, th in this exact rhetoric, in this exact terming. But that's just true. This motherfucker said, uh, what is a lady cop, a female officer, going to do but not? Uh, you know, if not pull their taser or their gun. That's like the only option for a female officer. You know what I'm saying? Dan like, Daniel, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the, it's no, like, you're right. what are they going to do? 